Well, a cup of coffee has anywhere from 95 to 200 milligrams of caffeine, plenty enough to give most people a jolt. So imagine magnifying that by about 16. We told you about Logan Steiner yesterday here on 6 News at 530. The Ohio student died back in May of what authorities are now calling a caffeine overdose. This after taking caffeine powder, a substance which has about 1,600 milligrams of caffeine. Now that would be like taking more than three times what doctors recommend as a daily limit all in one gulp. And joining us now with much more on this is State Senator Randy McNally. Senator, thank you very much for coming in. Thank you for having me. We need to point out to everyone, you are also a hospital pharmacist, so you're kind of an expert in this. Uh, I think your expertise would be very beneficial to explaining this. We need to talk about what does caffeine do to the body? What are the hazards? It's a central nervous system stimulant, and I think the big hazard is, is cardiac arrhythmias. That's irregular heart beats. And we were just kind of naming the amount of caffeine in, say, a cup of coffee. So people at home, if they drink two, three cups of coffee, should they be worried about this? What are we talking about when we say an overdose? Well, uh, the LD50, lethal dose 50, is around 10 uh, grams, which is a pretty substantial amount. Uh, so it, 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 coffee is up to somewhere Super. around 200 milligrams, I believe. So it would take... And you'd have to do it within a short period of time. It, it would take uh, maybe about 50 cups of coffee to, to do that. And it all depends uh, also on uh, whether you have things like liver failure or whether you have other types of diseases. Are you prone to arrhythmias? Uh, that type of thing. I would also imagine that age and body weight might play a factor. So when it we're does. talking about children, the amount they should consume is even less. Correct. And in this case, we were talking about caffeine powder. Now, a lot of people here in the newsroom yesterday learning about this story, we didn't even know caffeine powder existed. A lot of people, you know, saying, why isn't this illegal? I think they sell it as a food supplement, and I believe that's how they get, get around a lot of the regulations. And I know the FDA is considering putting some regulations on the amount that can be sold at one time. Yeah, and this was purchased online, but something that parents probably need to keep an eye on as their kids are online. And, and speaking of, you know, nowadays with places like Starbucks and other coffee shops popping up, kids like to drink these caffeinated drinks or Red Bull, these energy drinks. What is your advice to parents who might be concerned about their kids kind of getting hooked on caffeine or consuming too much? Well, it, it is a drug, so you do need to be danger, uh, careful with it because there are associated dangers. So I think that parents should talk to their children uh, about caffeine, about alcohol and other things and have good conversations with them. And the other thing is that when you buy a lot of these products, you don't really know how concentrated it is. It also depends on how you take it, uh, whether you take it orally, whether you snort it rectally, injection, you know, all those have different uh, LD50s. So parents really need to make sure they're talking to their kids about this. You don't ignore caffeine. Correct. All right, Senator it's McNally. Not harmless. Yeah, it's not harmless. And unfortunately, I think a lot of people think it is. We appreciate your Thank time. You. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. All appreciate right.